Hey guys and welcome! Today we did not only get the official teaser for the new season in Battlefield 2042, but also the official reveal of the new specialist Zane that will be added alongside of it. The teaser was posted by the Battlefield Twitter account just about two hours ago and it's pretty short as usual and shows us the date and time for the full reveal trailer. This will be tomorrow, November 17th at 8am PT or 5pm CET and I've put the link to it in the description below so you can set a notification for it here on YouTube. In addition, we can also see the official artwork for the season, which is kept very blue this time and has the waves in the background. And in case you didn't know already, it will be called Escalation and will most likely start next Tuesday on November 22nd, cause that's when season 2 will end. And then we got a little more info about the new specialist Rashid Zayn, cause there is a blog post available now, just like it was for Liz and Crawford, where there is a bit of lore around the new specialist, how he came to the notepads, how he ended up in the Nordvik facility where the new map will be located, and also some more info around the terrorist Oz and his new weapon that he's working on. And if you want to read through all of this yourself, you can find a link to it in the description below as well, but I covered most of it in my last video already, where I tried to puzzle the pieces of the easter egg together. But of course we still want to take a look at some of the details about Zane, just to know who he is and what we can expect from him. So he's at the age of 24 now, was born in Egypt as the son of two politicians and was part of the Egyptian military where he quickly climbed the ranks due to his confidence and resourcefulness. But one day when he was part of a rescue mission at a collapsing tower block, he got buried underneath the building and was found a day later. Because of his severe injuries, the doctors had to amputate both his legs above the knee and after his rehabilitation he met the aforementioned terrorist Oz, while he was volunteering at a no-pet shelter. He then joined Oz and in return he received some new state-of-the-art prosthetics, so he would be able to take part in several operations against US forces and also in the assault on the Exodus that we've seen in the short film. He's now also part of the operation in a Nordvik facility in Lapland, Sweden, where the new map Sparehead is located and on the picture we can see him patrolling it alongside a ranger robot dog. We can then also learn a lot more about Nordvik as a company and how it was founded and got involved in all of this, but like I said if you want to read through it yourself just follow the link in the description. In addition, the data miner Temporial has shared another picture with us, probably the new start screen of the season, and here we can already see a lot of the new content. Starting on the left, there is the new railgun tank EMKV-90, then there's Crawford holding the new railgun Rorsch Mark IV, which will be a new primary weapon, probably in the utility category. Then in the middle we can see our new specialist Zane again with his XM37A airburst rifle, which will be his active ability, his passive ability will be faster health regeneration after a kill. And then on the right side there's Rao with a new shotgun in his hand, and this one is called NVKS22 and looks a bit like it took inspiration from the S. IX-12, which is available in Rainbow Six for example. In the background we already get a glimpse of the new map Sparehead and that reminds me a lot on Exposure to be honest, but I wouldn't mind to have another map with this great design in the game. So that's everything we have so far, I'll be back tomorrow of course with a breakdown of the Season 3 trailer, so if you enjoyed this video be sure to drop a like or a comment below and subscribe to the channel to stay tuned for more content like this. Until then, thanks for watching! and Catwoman and you are awesome.